Hello everyone! Welcome to Happy Life Abroad, my name is Alga. Today I will explain you in detail how to rent an apartment in Estonia, including everything you need to know to avoid bad surprises. I'm gonna talk about places where to look for an apartment, prices, utilities, required documents, real estate agents, and at the end I will give you a step-by-step -step guide that describes the entire process. If you want to jump straight to a particular section, please check the information box down below for the timestamps. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here to get another uh, portion of useful information about life in Estonia in the future. Let's go! The best websites to search for an apartment in Estonia are kv.ee and cd24.ee. There are also less known options as kinisvara24.ee and apartment.ee specifically for Tallinn, but they have far less choice. Facebook groups can also be useful, especially if you want to rent uh, directly from the owner without using real estate agent services and possibly at a lower price. I will put the links in the description box. Uh, but personally, I prefer specialized websites because their um, filters and um, search engines allow you to drastically narrow down the selection and find exactly what you're looking for. Let's take a look at kv.ee. I like it the best and it is the site where I found my apartment in Tallinn. I like their filters um, and also uh, you can check this box right here to see advertisements from the owners only with no brokerage fee. The website is available in Estonian, English and Russian. Uh, although, uh, as you will see, most advertisements are in Estonian, unless realtors purposely translated them uh, into other languages. However, the principal information about the price, surface, building and amenities is usually also available in English and Russian. You uh, can directly contact the owner or the agent through the website. A little tip, explicitly put the address of the property in your message and check this box right here to receive a copy. Like this, you will have a trace. Uh, the email you'll receive will also contain a link to this property. Next, city24.ee is also a good website with similar filters. In addition to English and Russian, it is also translated to Finnish. Lots of useful info in, uh, in the property description. They also have a map. However, I noticed that their contact form is uh, sometimes buggy and you basically have to refresh it to be able to send a message. In general, both kv.ee and ct24.ee are good and usually you receive answers shortly. Also, it's worth noting that most of the apartments for rent come already furnished and fully equipped. Now let's talk about prices. The prices on the websites include only the monthly rent and not the utilities. And of course the price depends on the location, total area and condition of their apartment. You can see now my studio apartment in Tallinn in the Pelgulu neighborhood within 30 uh, minutes walking distance from the old city center. I rent it for uh, 450 euros a month. It is 45 square meters in area, has a balcony, a spacious bathroom and a parking space. Usually apartments for a similar surface and location, but in new or freshly renovated condition, cost around uh, 550 or 600 euros. You can obviously find something cheaper as well for around 300, uh, 350 euros. However, mostly in old condition and ugly Soviet looking style. Um, don't forget to account for a one time deposit equal to one month rent and the same amount for a brokerage fee if you go in through a real estate agent, which is common practice in Estonia. The monthly rent is typically paid via a bank transfer by the date defined in the lease agreement, but always before the next month starts. Let's move on the utilities. Um, unfortunately, utility prices uh, are quite high in Estonia. 
This is not only for all buildings with poor insulation, but even for modern constructions. Uh, usually for one or two room apartment, the utility bill can go up to 100, 150 euros per month during the winter and around 60 or 100 euros in the summer. On the bright side, this bill usually includes everything except the internet and TV subscription. So it includes water, electricity, gas as available, heat, territory cleaning and garbage disposal. I believe it is pretty common in Estonia that it is the landlord who receives uh, utility bills. He or she then compiles them and sends the total amount to the tenant. For example, in my case, my landlord receives the uh, utility bills for the previous month by the 10th day of the current month and I have to pay it by the 20th together with the uh, rent for the next month. Important notice, uh, most of the time the total monthly bill also includes different amortization and renovation fees, but you can ask your landlord to exclude them before signing the lease. In some countries a utility bill serves uh, as a proof of address, but thanks to the Estonian National Digital Register nobody will ask for it here. Although if you need such a proof for non-Estonian organization, uh, keep in mind that all the utility bills are in your landlord's name. So you are left only with the bill for the internet and TV, which usually comes in a bundle from the same provider. By the way, the internet will cost you from 15 to 40 euros depending on your needs and its speed. In terms of documents, renting an apartment cannot be easier. Usually landlords ask for your uh, national per personal identification code, EZQ code in Estonian and an ID card. If you are new to Estonia, possibly you don't have this code or any ID card yet, but no worries. Real estate agents and property owners are aware of that, so the only document you will need is your passport. Later, when you have an Estonian ID card or a residence permit with the code, you will just need to send it to your landlord over an email. And you also have to provide a former address, a valid phone number and an email. Uh, foreign addresses and phone numbers are okay, but just don't forget to send, you, uh, to send your landlord your new number as soon as you have it to make sure that uh, he or she can contact you at all times if needed. I know that in some countries France is a great example. You have to provide tons of documents such as proof of funds, uh, tax returns, uh, work contract. Uh, sometimes if your salary isn't sufficient you have to uh, have a guarantor as well. But nobody will ask for that in Estonia. Sometimes for fancier apartments people can uh, ask to provide links to your social media accounts or recommendations from previous landlords. Don't freak out. It is actually not necessary. It just landlord is trying to know you better. So instead you can send your resume or write a short letter about yourself and your background. It will do just fine. In France, for example, where I have uh, the most experience in renting, real estate agents usually work for, work for a brokerage firm uh, that services the property all along the uh, term of the lease. Uh, however, in Estonia, it doesn't work that way. Uh, here, real estate agents are simple intermediaries between you and your landlord, and they disappear from the picture uh, after signing the contract. So basically you pay them one month's rent just for showing you the apartment and preparing the lease agreement. Unfortunately, um, all other possible issues in the future, like uh, problems with heat and electricity or plumbing or malfunctioning of the equipment, for all that you have to deal directly with the landlord. Also, don't be surprised if an agent asks you to pay the value-added tax on top of their commission, which is 20%. Not all of them make you pay, but some do. Anyways, Estonian real estate agents are very reactive, they answer their emails quickly. 
Uh, also, don't be scared to call them. Uh, in addition to Estonian, most of them have a good level of English and don't mind speaking to you over the phone. Some of them also speak Russian and some uh, Finnish. Since I had many interactions with different real estate agents, but none with uh, the landlords besides my own, I cannot say much about the landlords. But I know uh, that some of them speak only Estonian or Russian, so it can be tricky if you don't speak those languages. Okay, now when you have all the necessary information, let me summarize everything in a list of actions and give you some last tips along the way. First, explore the websites and bookmark all the apartments that interest you. Secondly, contact agents or landlords. Keep in mind that if you call from a non-Estonian number, people may have problems with contacting you back. This is to do with the limitations imposed by the local providers for cheaper phone plans. So, to be on the safe side, it is better to email them at least at first. Like this, you also keep a written trace of your communications. Next. Uh, it is very important as a newcomer to be registered in the population register. So definitely ask the real estate agent or the landlord about it before scheduling a visit. Normally you won't have any issues if you go through an agent. However, there are some dishonest landlords out there who refuse to pay taxes and don't want you to sell them out by registering yourself in their property. Number four. Schedule visits and do visit multiple apartments before taking any decision. The visits are free and don't oblige you to anything. Number five. Even though, as I said, everything except the internet uh, is usually included in the utility bill, still don't forget to ask what's in it to be sure. Next, if you use real estate agent services, I would strongly advise to arrange a meeting with a landlord before signing the lease to avoid any bad surprises in the future if something goes wrong or breaks. You want to be sure that your landlord is a nice, responsive person who speaks your language. Also, if you have pets, in Estonia you have to get consent from the landlord that has to be reflected in the lease agreement. I would talk you out of trying to hide it. Even if you have the most harmless pet ever, Unexpected visits from your landlord in urgent situations may take you by surprise. If you are hesitant and don't want to scare the landlord off, just say that you are considering adopting a pet and would like to have all information in hand in advance. Finally, sign the contract. You will be asked to pay the brokerage fee, the deposit and the prorated rent for the rest of the month before signing the lease. No scam here. Just transfer money via your bank. Most payments from European accounts are instant, but if uh, you don't have a European bank account, find out how much time a wire transfer from your bank would take and provide uh, a payment confirmation to your agent or landlord. Once you've paid and signed, register yourself in the population register. And lastly, take care of the internet connection. And after these 10 steps, you can start enjoying your life in a new Estonian apartment. That is it. Uh, I hope the video was useful. If I forgot something or you have further questions, don't hesitate to write a comment. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more information and tips about life in Estonia. Good luck with the search. I hope you will find a nice, beautiful and cozy apartment. And See you in new videos. Bye.